Kurt Lewin is one of the giants of 20th century psychology. And one of his finest contributions to us as managers and business professionals is his freeze phases model of the way that individuals go through changes or transitions. So in this video, I want to look at how we can apply the freeze phases model to the transitions we go through as we move from a group to a team. Kurt Lewin's model of change has three stages. Unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. He uses the metaphor of a block of ice to show how we go through a transition. We start off in one shape, we unfreeze, we form ourselves into a new shape, and then we refreeze into that shape. And therefore, the freeze phases model is a great way of understanding the transition of a team from a group of individuals to a fully functioning team. And what I really like about it is it is complementary and quite different to the other models of team development that we've looked at in this course. We start with a set of long established certainties. We know who we are, we know what our part is in the organisation, and we are brought into a new group. In the first stage, the unfreezing stage, we find some of those certainties, those attitudes, those beliefs, even values challenged. And we need to open ourselves up to a possibility of a new reality. We need to unfreeze ourselves if we are to fully immerse ourselves in the new group to become part of the new team. The second phase is called changing. This is where we go through a transition. We move from our old state to our new state. This is a highly dynamic stage where everything is in flux and we are open to new influences. It's characterized by a high degree of plasticity. The direction we move in and where we end up is highly susceptible to what happens during the changing stage. It can be a time of uncertainty and confusion and therefore our reactions are often driven by our emotions and our emotional response to what's going on around us. This nicely explains in a psychological sense what's happening in, for example, what Tuckman calls the storming stage and what Cog's Ladder describes as the power stage. This uncertainty also means that we're highly susceptible to things like gossip and rumour. As a leader, you need to make sure that the information flow is constant and accurate so that as people adapt to the new circumstances and the new certainties, they are properly adapting to the real circumstances and the real certainties of the situation. Effective leadership will replace old thinking with new thinking, old norms with effective new norms. Weak leadership, however, can lead us open to uncertainty, persisting, and not properly settling into a new stage at all, or worse still, refreezing into the wrong set of organisational norms and bad behaviour patterns and unproductive work practices. However, if you lead effectively, you move your team towards a new set of norms and a new set of effective work practices, the final phase is the refreezing phase where the new certainties, the new ways of working, start to crystallise and the group adopts a new set of norms which it will embrace and work with for the next period. With the new mindset this creates, individuals can start to take advantage of whatever opportunities the new situation offers them. Lewin was clear that these three phases were just a way of articulating a continuous process, a single journey with no hard boundaries. He was also clear that there was a constant cycle of unfreezing, changing, refreezing, unfreezing again. The fact that many subsequent authors have represented it as a static model of three static stages on a one-off change meant that the model has not been adopted as widely as I believe it should have. People have misrepresented it and misunderstood it. 
However, to my mind, as a manager, understanding Lewin's fundamental three-phase model, the three freeze phases, will give you a strong baseline to understand so much of what goes on in the world of work, whether it be group development or change or the adoption of new ideas. Please do take time to review Kurt Lewin's freeze phase model and understand it. It is one of the best models available. Please do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. There'll be loads more great management courses content to come, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, and in the meantime, keep learning.